Hey all, thank you for joining me today. In this video, we're making McDonald's The Guardian of the Fries by 3D Workbench. The file is available for free to download on printables right now, and the wonderful 3D Workbench has made this file available for free for commercial use. So I also will be selling this on my Etsy store. Links will be in the description below. Now with all that being said and done, let's crack on with the rest of the video. Now, I will start off by saying this is an amazing model. Just looking at it from the pictures on printables absolutely drew my attention to it. These fries are reminiscent of a very famous fast food restaurant. But yeah, this model was an absolute pleasure to build. It does come with PDF instructions. Um, they are quite fairly good. Uh, there are just a few bits I weren't unsure about as I'll explain later on throughout the video. Well, if you're watching this, you can use this as an instruction guide as well. Um, I just want to shout out by saying thank you to every single one of you. I've recently hit a new milestone on this channel. I'm able to monetize it thanks to all you wonderful subscribers, everyone who watches the videos, likes, comments, interacts, it's all down to you. So if you're watching this right now and any of my other videos, please hit that join button next to subscribe and join my membership, which gives you exclusive access to emojis, to icons, to competitions for a range of other amazing things so give it a check out and yeah i look forward to seeing you in the community but back to the build um like i said these files were quite fairly simple to put together it wasn't too complicated now doing the legs was a little bit of an issue as i see later on i'm just showing you all the pieces that you need to print now you could choose whatever colors you want i decided to go for like a brown look to be like a burger bun and that's what the picture on the printables looks like but obviously you can mix and match wherever you want and do whatever colors or crazy colors you want now the bits that need to be glued are quite self-explanatory if they're flat you glue it if it's got some sort of connection it goes somewhere and like i said the instructions that come with this are quite in depth and it just highlight it the only issue i found in this whole sort of build was when and where to glue so i do end up gluing some bits together which shouldn't be which basically the joints should allow free movement but i glued them in together because i weren't too sure if you could or not and it was just simply down to me not pushing the joints in further enough so they all bit loose and I thought oh, it's gonna fall off and it did but if I pushed a bit more force it would have gone together absolutely fine so I'd use a bit more glue than actually needed in this video but it went off without a hitch either way but yeah we'll crack on now Now, as you've seen so far, it's been fairly straightforward. The bits that I'm gluing are meant to be glued. As you can see, there's a lot of flat bits. This is where I mess up. So this joint is basically the hip swivel movement. So you can swivel the hip left and right, or side to side, whatever the rotation axis will be. Um, it twists there, which is really good. And there's a pin that goes on top. And I thought, so the pin doesn't move, let me glue it in. But in doing so, I stopped that rotational movement. So when you come to building it, when you put this pin on top, just force it in a bit more and it will go down deeper. You do not need to use glue. Um, going back to the wonderful milestone I was saying before, I will not be changing what happens in the channel much. Um, I might be doing a bit more long form videos. As you see, this is a bit longer than my normal minimum of 10 minutes. I'm gonna go beyond that if need be. Um, but also I wanna give you guys more opportunity to interact with me, share. I want you, even if you're not subscribed to the membership, please write in the comments what you wanna see from me in the future videos, what you like, what you dislike. And if you are part of the membership, you have access to extra communications and we'll talk through that anyway. But 
yeah i don't want people to think the channel is going to change or going to do too much if anything i want to do more like the membership is going to allow me to do a lot more things with this channel help me fund more projects help me get different equipment and so forth and all those amazing things but most importantly it's going to allow me to be better at doing what i love doing and it's making content using 3d printing and all other wonderful technology so you guys can enjoy it there at home Now the legs all put together, you can definitely tell it doesn't skip leg day. Been working and pushing out, ready for the next battle. Now the arms, I had the same issue I did with the legs. I do glue one side, I think it's the left side of the pins when I should have just left it. I just didn't push it in deep enough. So I do end up gluing the rotation axis to the left arm. My fault at all. Um, but going back to, like I said, it's instructions are great. Watch this video, it's definitely gonna help you along. I want to design my own sort of mech, robot, or something along. I love robots, I love creating things. Um, but I want ideas for what sort of thing I should create. Um, I've looked at food items before and they get really complicated. I've also looked at like mecha animals. Um, I really like the idea of that. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think would be great to design. I'll try my best. I'm not gonna say it's gonna come out amazing. If you saw my Xbox one, it was okay. It looked good. It looked like a real Xbox, but I wanna do a bit more complicated joints and a bit more detail um yeah just let me know below the hands themselves they were really good actually um the articulation of the hands i was not expecting it even though i printed the files off myself actually putting them together i didn't think there'll be this much articulation in this robot it's absolutely incredible and well done 3d workbench done absolutely amazing Now, when it comes to the elbow, you have to be very specific in which way you orientate it. There is a round bit and a flat bit. The round bit is like the back of your elbow, the flat bit is like the inner arm. Um, it just determines the way the elbow moves up and down. Now, the rotational bit, sorry, of the bicep, I ended up gluing in because no matter what I did, I couldn't get the bicep to stick to like the shoulder bit. Um, as you can see, the elbow moves great and smooth, that's perfect. But it's this bit here, you're meant to put the pin in and it's meant to stay in place. I put a dab of glue on one side and I thought if I just put a glue on the, on the tip and let it hold there, it should be fine. But it just wasn't strong enough. The bond wasn't strong enough. And I will say I have printed this model at 200% scale. Um, so it's a lot bigger here than probably even well, than it's going to be normally. But it, it didn't affect anything. It's just to bear that in mind. When I'm putting a piece together, that might be a reason why some things aren't fitting so well. Because I printed this in such a large scale. But nevertheless, it came out wonderful. I wouldn't be making this video. Now, when it comes to assembling the body, it couldn't be any more simpler. It's literally like building a real life burger. You've got the patty, you've got the cheese, you've got the tomato, you've got the lettuce, and you've got the buns. Um, the instructions go through this, but even if you just did it without the instructions, you can see the way the pieces fit. The center column was a bit shorter than I thought. I don't know if I was meant to print off two, but it didn't 
go through all the way through all of them so i end up gluing certain bits to other bits but it worked out fine in the end um you will notice i didn't print off all the bits there's like a thruster slash exhaust port this one to go on the bottom i only printed one of them i didn't realize that i only put one i thought i needed two and this is a bit i was talking about here i just added glue to the bottom of the bun and the lettuce so it will glue to it because that center column didn't go all the way through it's fine glue stuck together and it's absolutely fine but yeah it actually looks like a real good burger um and this was an amazing build now putting it all together i honestly couldn't wait to do this now this video has probably been two weeks in the making of making sorry i've had other projects going on at the same time so i had to print this off in little bits while doing the project so it's just been sitting there bit by bit and i've been dying to build this my children have saw this on my shelf and wanted when am I gonna build it? When can they play with it? And yeah, when I finished this, they were absolutely over the moon that they had something new to play with. Um, and a burger and fries isn't a bad thing to give them, right? Um, you let me know in the comments. And this is one of those fusses where I only printed one of them. But as always, thank you so, so, so much for sticking around to the end. It means the world to me. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, join my new membership. Um, and just, yeah, thank you for making this channel where it is today and it absolutely means the world to me but with all that being said and done let's crack on with the animation slash glamour shots let's go